Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step on how to do a battery replacement on an HP laptop. Let me flip it around and show you the model here at the back. So the model for this is 11-N010DX. Okay, so this is the HP Protect Smart. Anyway, I um, wanted to show it to you what happened is that the battery is swollen. So you can see that the battery is swelling, swelling on the bottom here, bottom left. And it is separating the palm rest, you know, having a damage on the touchpad as well. And this is how I know that the battery is pushing the back cover. So first thing we like to do is to remove the back cover and get into the battery here. So get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. All right, so let's see if we can remove the, uh, the cover here. Sometimes they do have the hidden screw underneath the rubber, but it looks like this model do not have that hidden screw. It just having some hard time to separate the uh, the back cover here so let me let me try to pry it open if it's if it's needed let's see what else can i do here feels really tight there might be an additional screw hidden underneath the rubber sometimes they do that i'm not sure for what reason uh, but let's take a look and see if there's any hidden screw underneath Yep, there is hidden screw underneath. So you actually need to get yourself a metal prying tool, some sort of things to get underneath. The double-sided glue is very sticky. Maybe because of, you know, over time you're using too much and this, the glue is all dried out and it's super, super sticky. Okay. We have removed that screw and see if we can pry it open now. Still having some hard time here. Okay, there you have it. Now, before you remove and yank the back cover if you know this that the cable is still attached to it so this little usb stuff on the side here if you see the auxiliary jack and the usb it is the um the io board it is still connected through this cable what you want to do is flip open this little clipper and slide that cable out all right do not yank or remove the back cover or else you're going to damage your USB port here.
All right, so that is that. We have done with that part right here. So voila, you can see that the battery is all swollen. It's very lumped, right? It's very dangerous to use the battery that is all swollen like this. So the next step for you to do is to remove the screw. And we are trying to disconnect the battery, but before we do that, make sure all the speaker wire is not in your way. You do not want to yank and break the speaker cable. And this is where your battery connector is. So the battery connector is somewhat sly next to the hard drive. Hopefully we do not have to remove the hard drive to get it out. Just let me... Okay, so the battery, try to slide it to your left, left and downwards. So that direction, slide it in. And there you have it. You can just remove the battery all together just like this. All right, so the replacement battery is PL02XL, or you can look it up for the HP parts number 7518750001. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link them in the description below. Whoa, see, it is coming apart now, separating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link them in the description below. You can buy them from either Amazon or eBay. I'll link them to the right website with the right product. And uh, you can follow along my video and get your battery replaced. Okay, so let me do a quick walkthrough here if you're interested to know what it is. This is your hard drive. This is where all your documents, picture, music, everything is stored in the hard drive. This is your RAM. You can upgrade the RAM. Your CPU heatsink. The CPU is here. And this is your CPU fan, which exhausts the hot air to your right. Now, if your fan is full of dust, it is time for you to clean it out. Take the opportunity to do that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So. With the new battery, what you want to do is just a reverse process. Stick the uh, the battery back in here. Right, stick it back in. Put the screws in. Slide the cable back in. Put that cover, the back cover back on top. All the screws back in. Two hidden screw with that rubber stopper. And there, is, there you go. That's pretty much it. Straightforward for the battery replacement in this model. Have any question comment below i do read those questions if you have any computer repair uh if you have any question about computer repair stuff comment below i'll answer those questions so i look forward to uh to see you in the comment and if you find the video is helpful please give me a like do not forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell thanks for watching i wish you i wish you all the best bye now